Uh, this is Martin Fackler. I'm the Tokyo Bureau Chief for the New York Times. And what we're seeing here in Yamagata is an influx of people fleeing the nuclear accidents. Weather tends to travel from west to east, and so the inclination of people is to flee to the western side of Japan. The city of Yamagata has set up a large coliseum to serve as a refugee center. And the people fleeing the accidents will be checked with um, a radiation uh, detection equipment to see if they have been uh, contaminated with radioactive particles. And then they are uh, given blankets and food and allowed to sleep on the floor of the Coliseum. And right now there are probably about seven or 800 people and it's rapidly filling up. Japanese authorities have evacuated uh, some areas around the power plants and they've also issued orders in other areas for people to stay indoors. But people in areas even outside of that are worried about their safety and are leaving. Uh, when you talk to these people, there's a lot of suspicion that the Japanese government and the Japanese uh, media are covering up the extent of the problem. There's a lot of fear that they're not getting enough information about the risks and the danger, and they feel that they need to take uh, things into their own hands by basically putting, putting their families into the car and, and, and fleeing or fleeing by bus. One of the problems that has compounded the troubles has been severe gasoline shortages in Japan and people just can't get out of these areas around the power plant because they don't have gasoline.